Hello my Totodile family and welcome back to Totodile Tales. So today I'm going to be doing two things. In the last while I've been opening up a bunch of packs and I have eight random packs left over that didn't fit into the 3v3, 4v4 uh, routine. So I've got eight packs to open, some Sky Legends, some Remix Bout, Hopefully we can pull something nice. Additionally, uh, I'm an English teacher here in Japan. And if you stay for a year, you usually, depending on the company, get a bonus. So I had uh, gotten my bonus a month or two ago. And I decided that I wanted to purchase something uh, Pokemon card related. And so I started looking around at the different things. And I obviously didn't <clears throat> want to spend my entire bonus. I, I want to spend maybe a little bit of it. So I ended up purchasing three cards and I'm going to show you these promo cards that I got. Uh, well, two are promo cards and one's actually from a set and it's really nice. And if you remember last week's video, last week, the other day's video, I said something. I said that if I don't pull a certain card, I might buy it. So you know what I'm talking about. All right, first off, we're gonna open up some Sky Legends. I've got two Sky Legends packs left. And if I pull the card that I purchased, I'm going to be extremely happy. Like really, 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 really happy. Okay, we've got a Tapu Fini. We've got a Magneton. We've got a... Another Surfboard. I've pulled like four of these in the last two openings. On to our second one, here we go. We've got a Z card, a Knocked Owl, a Praying Mantis, a Fletching. Ooh, wow! Regular Rare, a Lowland Executor, and a Rowlet. Very cool. Those are great. What a cute pairing. I am going to sleeve that up. So if you did watch last uh, the last video, I mentioned that there's a beautiful mosaic card that I really wanted and it was selling between about 4,000 and 5,000 yen here in Japan so between 40 and 50 dollars I found it for 2,000 at a shop so I went ahead and I bought it it's in perfect condition 2,000 yen for the beautiful mosaic bird so 20 dollars 25 dollars for the beautiful mosaic birds. Look at how gorgeous that is. Now in English, this card came out as a promo card, and so it's way cheaper, where this one, you had to pull it from this Sky Legends set, which I have not done. So I am very happy with that. I'm adding that to my collection. I'm keeping it. It is so beautiful. All right, on to the next two. We've got these. All right, let's see. One Alolan Doug Trio Sniffly Bear, and oh, the big Sniffly Bear. Whatever, Baratic, is that its name? Or is that the other bear? There's too many bears. Why are there so many bears? All right, bears are lovely. Treat them with respect. All right, we have a band and a, ooh, that's a cool one. I don't remember the name of this one because it was one of the uh, extra ones that came out in the newer series. Stunkfish, Catcher, and Suicune. Yeah, Suicune, very cool. Suicune Hollow. All right, here we go on to the next one. I've shown you these before, but there's a reason I'm going to show you them again. So I have picked up these cards. They're the Edvard Munch cards from the 2018 Tokyo Edvard Munch exhibit. We have a Psyduck, we have an Eevee, and we have a Rowlet, okay? So we're gonna keep those in mind as we go ahead. Each of these is only between two and five dollars. So very reasonable, they're very easy to get. You can get them from the Pokemon centers here uh, when you bought a certain amount of packs. All right, on to the next one. And another trainer, trainer, and a Victini. Uncommon. 
All right, I've got just one of these ones. The knight fight, knife fight? No, not knife fight. Uh, one of these ones, a, oh, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Here, let's just put that back there and pretend we've got a trainer card, a Radicate, a Gligar, a Togepi, and a Marshadow. How surprising. That is so shocking. So, with those in mind, there's the Pikachu card. And now the Pikachu card you can only get from going to the actual event in Tokyo. So, this card was retailing at 6,000 yen. So $60. I'll put up exact prices there. 6,000 yen, uh, about 75 Canadian dollars. And so that is the second promo card I spent some of my money on. It's beautiful. Isn't it lovely? Look, you've got Eevee in the background there. Each one has a previous one in the background. All right, to Remix Bout. Remix Bout has treated me so well over this last little while, including two secret rares. So let's see if we couldn't just get one more. <gasps> I'm so sorry, neighbors. No way. A secret rare trainer card we've got a skater yeah. <laughs> oh where is my sleeves oh where is my sleeves oh very good wow <sighs> amazing just amazing with the lackluster pulls i've had the last two videos this completely makes up for it secret rare skater trainer card if there is a price on this i'll put it there oh. wow that is so cool oh my goodness can you see the sparkle on it of course you can look at that the light is so bright i need to get a different light all right, I'm gonna put that down very gently. We've got one more. We've got one more. Ah, oh, that's three secret rares I've got from this remix bout. It's been so lucky, been so lucky. All right, we have a catcher, and I'm just gonna go right through, and a Tangro, you get away from there. All right, so we have the Psyduck, we have the Eevee, we have the Rowlet, and we have the Pikachu. This last one, you could only get when you purchased a specific item. Now this item was like a little case, it's this big, and it has the Pikachu and the Eevee artwork on it. So the card has been selling for $150, 15,000 yen just the card and so i went into nagoya into mandrake mandrake is a wonderful secondhand shop lots of amazing stuff that you've seen i found there i have found it the whole shebang the mimic you card with the case it's got the arc on it it's got the pokemon card game side it's in its original packaging. And I don't know if you can see, but that's how much it was. So 15,000 yen, $150. Now I have the whole set. And the next thing I have to decide is, do I take the card out of this package? In the long run, the card will be worth more in its original packaging but i have the set and i will have to send this home at some point so is this going to get damaged on the way i'm thinking i might have to open up sleeve it and put it in one of these hard cases just for its protection and that way i have the whole set i have it all together if you have any thoughts on this let me know in the comments I would love to hear because right now I'm so torn. 
For now, I'm leaving it there. I put it on a shelf. Nothing else is around it. Nothing is touching it. I'm trying my hardest not to dent or hurt it at all. So like I said, leave a comment. Let me know. If you like the card, hit that thumbs up button. If you think the card was really, really expensive, subscribe because it was. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.